This month we celebrate the holiday of Purim. Immediately we're asked to challenge our perceptions of holidays for two reasons. One being, there's no mention of God in the story of Purim. And two, the only commandment is to simcha umishte, to be happy and to drink. So no mention of God, what are we supposed to do with that? I think it's probably a message of empowerment. Esther, a lone Jew, amid a whole sea of other people, finds within her the power to stand up for her whole people. And then two, the simcha umishte, that's the part where we do everything that's possible to break down the barriers and boundaries between enemy and friends. They say in the end of days, only one holiday will be left, and that's Purim. You think at first, what do you mean? A holiday full of cookies and drinks and crazy costumes, that's what's left at the end of days? But I think it's actually a wise statement. They say at the end of days, what's left is a message of empowerment, that it's up to us to build this next world, up to us to break down the boundaries between us and other people, and to build a better, more peaceful world.